Okay, hello and welcome to part three of this uh, of this video. Now we will tell you how to do uh, your plan for circulating routes in escape town. If you are living alone, then you have a problem, uh, which basically means that you are, uh, if you are living alone and there's not that many other people in your community, you are screwed. So here's what you want to do. Uh, the very first thing you want to do when you wake up and you see this scenario is that you want to um, deal with, um, you want to try to find as many other people as possible to help you out. Now, assuming uh, that you are, okay, this is um, your one of two possibilities. You are living in a downtown inner city urban environment, which is X2, or you are living out in an apartment building like I am on the edge of the city, or in a house on the edge of the city, in, or in the suburbs, which is called X1. There are two possible scenarios with this. The suburbs is very effective in the fact that you are living in a community, and most people probably already have a sense of community anyway through 4th of July birthday parties or July 1st up here in Canada, or, uh, you know, parties or, or, you know, or other stuff like that. Like, there's plenty of community concept, and people will be uh, considerably easier to deal with. Now, if you were living, uh, if you were living in a suburb environment, it is advisable that you get out of the city. You do not stay, uh, now, unless, of course, you're planning to go back as a group. Now, um, if you are living down in the United States, um, which you probably are, um, for the bulk of you who are watching this, uh, then it would be a good idea to find out how many people in your area have guns. Uh, find out how many people have in your area have guns and if they're well equipped. Get them uh, in that event to form a local militia. Um, chances are there's probably at least one military guy there, and uh, you should um, you should at least try to get uh, you know try to encourage um, you know all gun holders. Uh, actually, you know what? In advance of uh, this prep, because of the fact that, bear in mind that if our leaders don't do space colonization, there will be a societal collapse. So you want to be ready for any event of. So um, as prep in advance, I would recommend that you talk to your local um, head of the gun club or what have you, or if there isn't a gun club available, find out who has a gun, how many people have guns, and train them uh, regularly on it, you know, and get them to be well stocked up on bullets and the like. The next thing you want to do, if you, um, when society collapses, if you are staying in the suburbs, um, chances are um, most universities are also on the suburbs uh, edges of town. That means that um, you will have your group of cars and your well for fighting force to be able to uh, have your area. So what you want to do is you want to pl plot your route on a, on a street map to the nearest power supply station. Get your route mapped out there and, uh, you know, and get your cars fortified and the like. Then here's you what you want to do. The very first thing you want to do is take all your supplies and all the equipment you can, electronic lights, everything, move up to the local power station, and while you're at it, try to, um, then while you're at it, uh, you know, go up there and get your camp set up. It may only be a few tents with some basic supplies, lamps, what have you, um, you know, and you may not be able to build a proper building or be able to, uh, you know, build a proper fortification or any, you know, electronics yet. Don't worry. That's just your first stage. You're just trying to get an encampment set up. The second thing you want to do. Find out in your neighborhood who has any expertise in any of the following areas. Machine shopping, doctoring, uh, uh, um, you know, uh, mechanics, engineering, doctors, scientists, um, or, people with technical, uh, or people with technical skills of one sort or another. You want to find out who has, your skill, who has their skills in what area. Um, computer, uh, computer experts would also be very good. Uh, the reason for this is that um, computer skills do provide a, uh, if, you prov if you happen to know how to, um, to automate stuff, um, or if you have good skills in computerization, then chances are um, most most power uh, stations these days are fully automated, which means that they will need somebody who happens to know enough about computer skills to probably be able to figure out how the system works and be able to maintain it for a prolonged period of time. Um, also, as well, you can maintain some com comfortable amenities of life uh, based on that. But anywho, um, that's another kettle of fish. The next thing you want, um, the next thing you want is to figure out uh, the groups for uh, mechanics and engineering. Um, uh, you know, particularly people who can draft the designs, um, that sort of thing. Then you want uh, your group who is a fighting force. You want uh, contingents to head out as falls. I'm assuming your power station is outside the city somewhere. So we'll draw a circle uh, to symbolize the power station, probably right out uh, on the very outskirts. Um, and we'll actually put a little arrow off the page, which says that it's probably at least a few miles out of town. Uh, this is your circle here. You want to be uh, in circulation around that circle. Wherever the power station is, you want to be there. The next thing you want to do is you want to drive back into the city. Try to avoid your original suburb areas. Probably by then, zombies or uh, or the uh, the raiders or what have you have probably already moved into your area to try to loot. At that point, avoid this area at all costs. 
Now, if you are dealing with a human enemy, if you are dealing with a human enemy, chances are your human enemy is not educated enough to actually realize what is going to be needed for a post-apocalyptic society. Maybe a few are. That's why you need to go with a, with a well-equipped fighting force to be able to fight off any other human elements. If you're dealing with zombies, they should be easily able to take pawn shots. The next spot you want to move is your university. Uh, the reason I suggest you move to your university is because of the fact that most of the state-of-the-art equipment and uh, extensive libraries are there. You want to raid your library for everything in the science, technological, and medicine sections. Um, hu human history and the like you can sweep back on in a later moment. But uh, you want to get everything on mechanics, engineering, um, technology, medicine, uh, basically anything that is a hard science or, a, or even psychology. Uh, basically, anything that is a hard or a social science, with the exception of uh, so anything from, from sociology to history, leave out. But psychology and all the hard sciences, as well as engineering and medicine, stock up on all those books as much as possible. Put them all in your trunks, zoom back to your home spot. You want to make sure that you go through for one thing at a time during trips. The reason you don't want to scavenge for too many things is because uh, for some of these parts are finicky, as well as also very heavy in some of these cases, then it will slow down your trip. So you want to make sure that you've got maximum potential before you move out. Uh, now, the plan is as follows. The reason you want to go for book, and I want to stress this for, uh, perfectly first. The reason why you want to go for books first, as opposed to uh, the technological aids, is because, uh, you know, as opposed to technological aids for gearing down, is that you want to make sure that you have the knowledge in advance to be able to handle this sort of thing. The, the, now, I should mention as well the first thing you want to go through before that. Um, as well, many, um, many colleges as well also are, are equipped with a pharmacy on campus. This is generally for students to be able to deal with things. While you are there, you also want to stock up on uh, your local basics in terms of aspirin, painkiller medication, or other stuff like that. So, you, so at least uh, if you have basic first aid, you can at least get some medication to those people who are seriously injured or are you know, suffering diseases. Um, make, take an order of people who already have prescribed medications in the first place and make sure that amongst your community, uh, as was said before when assessing expertise, make sure that there's at least a doctor or a pharmacist or somebody who knows a little bit about medicine in advance on site. Uh, this way, you know, we can have somebody to treat, you know, those who, you know, those who are injured or what have you in the process of the escape. The second thing you want to do is uh, you want to head back to the university. Uh, you want to make this for as many trips as possible. Uh, again, remember, your university is probably chances are on the outskirts, somewhere where, um, you know, not near the suburbs, but a little bit closer in on the city. Um, you know, unless, of course, you're a university town, at which point you're the heart of the city, at which point you're screwed. But anyway, uh, here's what I'd like you to take a look at. The next thing you want to go for is the machine shop. Machine shops at universities are generally fairly small, um, but they do have, uh, you know, if a, machine, if a university has one, they're generally fairly small. However, um, they, are a, uh, a very, they are a fairly good use um, uh, you know, however, they are a very good basis for getting at least your, your mold designs and the like. So, um, when you're doing this, take your stuff from there. Chances are as well, you also want to locate the local community colleges, uh, which have machine shop trading, and uh, raid, raid them for machine shops as well. Um, if, uh, your, if your city is anything like the one I live in, Victoria, chances are uh, the, a campus for the, the campus for the local college or university which has machine shop training is already on the outskirts, which means it'll be perfectly easy to get access to. The next thing you want to do is you want to head back for chemistry equipment. Note, the reason you want to go back for this last is that this is the most fragile piece of the bunch. You want to make damn sure that when you're packing stuff that, uh, that you've got it well packaged and well done. You want to go through, um, you want to go to the chemistry labs, you want to get back, um, and you also want to raid the chemistry equipment lockers. Um, you want to go, um, uh, you also want to as well um, read the physics labs, everything, uh, the chemistry and the physics labs, the hard, the hard science labs, preferably even the bio labs, because sometimes you might be able to get uh, basic cultures for, uh, you know, farming antibiotics or medications later. So here's what you want to do. You want to go, you want to read everything in your chem labs. I mean, uh, the fir first things first, you want to get the equipment. You want to get all the equipment rated. Take that in stage one. Go back, get all the chemicals, go back in stage two. The same goes for all physics equipment, because chances are you're going to need it at some point to be able to, uh, you know, again, this, um, the physics equipment will help uh, with stuff like, um, you know, uh, may be able to help with your machine shops later. Chemistry labs will be good for forming two things. Chemicals that you need for, um, you know, everyday use in life, which are necessary for industrial de development or even a 19th century level. Uh, the second thing that you're going to want is um, you're also going to want um, chemicals, of course, to be able to, a chemistry lab, a fully functioning chemistry and biology lab, to be able to deal with any new pathogens which rise up. Um, so yeah, raid your bio labs as well. Microscopes, anything about nature. You want all the equipment and all the cultures that are there. Um, you also want all uh, whatever notes happen to be available that were left over by the dying professors. Um, again, um, see library notes for being able to handle more. Uh, 
next um, next video, I'm going to teach you uh, the rest of where you want to go afterwards uh, in terms of uh, other spots in the city in order to raid for supplies. Toodles.